Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bupesh once again from Dr. BKM OET Institutes. Please subscribe our channel if you have not until now to get the best OET videos and to get the latest update information about NHS, OET and all those things. Apart from this, being Dr. BKM Institutes, uh, we assured you that you can get the best OET coaching as well. Our contact number is plus nine one seven six nine six seven three four two five six. So today we are doing a role play that is basically a doctor's role play, but again, it is applicable for the nurses as well. And it is a role play created by the Cambridge. So obviously you can say it as an authentic role play. Authentic role play means in the final exam, you will get a role play of this kind where detailed information would be given. And again, you need to finish your role play in five minutes. You can't take more than five minutes. Summarization is very important when you will get such a big role play. If you will speak all the points and you do not summarize the points, you will lose marks. So to avoid this, you have to go little fast according to these role plays. And when you are giving so much of reassurance, recommendations mean advices, when you are giving so many advices to the patient, then one line becomes very important that we keep on asking the patient. I hope you are understanding my point. First, this is the line. I hope you are understanding my point and you can also say, or should I repeat anything? This is a line that would be very crucial in this kind of role play because you would be very fast uh, because you want to finish your role play as quickly as possible. But at the same time, when you're giving so many recommendations, so many advices, it is very important to ask the patient that have you understood? Should I repeat anything for you? Okay, so proceeding further, I'm talking about this. Let me tell you an example. So first of all, as I have told you, summarization is very important. Summarizing the task is very important. Asking the questions in between is very important. And again, finishing the role playing five minutes is very important. And in OET role play, the people who are listening to OET speaking for the first time, there are no marks for the facial gestures. That means there is no video. It's only the audio recording. Even the examiner who is sitting in front of you, he does not have any marks. The only marks are for the audio. So basic things, again, only audio. Now I'm going to talk about this role. Okay. So a patient has come to our local medical clinic. So suppose whether this role plays of a nurse, it will not change anything. Try to understand. Okay, I will say as a nurse. So you see a 45 year old patient who suffered with the mild anterior myocardial infarction two weeks ago. Recovery was uncomplicated. Uncomplicated means everything was normal. Wow. And the patient discharged from the hospital four days ago. Very nice. He is now concerned about how much physical activity is appropriate during the recovery. So patient has come to you for a follow-up care and he is concerned that how much physical activity would be appropriate for him. So find out the reason for visit. So whether you are a nurse or doctor, so you will say, good morning. My name is Bupesh. I am a nurse over here. Good morning. My name is Dr. Bupesh. I am a doctor. And as we, as means this patient has already been attended. So in this case, obviously you don't have to introduce if you are a doctor. If you are a nurse, then you can say, good morning, my name is Bupesh, I am a nurse. How may I help you? Then patient will say, see, I came in your uh, hospital for this and this thing. It, it is a local medical clinic. So he will tell that because nurses can be changed. So maybe the last time he attended some other nurse and this time he is attending some other nurse. But again, let's say, suppose you can also take this role play as you are the same nurse. So you can say, uh, good morning. So in that case, suppose if you already know the patient, so obviously you know the name of the patient as well. So you will say, good morning, Mr. John. So how are you feeling today? Because you already know the name. So maybe that was the reason that ma'am told me to do this role play. So I'm doing this role play according to the requirements. Okay. So now I'm starting the role play again. Good morning, Mr. John. How are you feeling today? Well, nurse, uh, well, nurse or doctor, I'm feeling very good but I'm really concerned about my physical activity that how much physical activity should I do? Well, don't worry, Mr. John, as I know that you came here uh, almost two weeks ago and you had this myocardial infarction, your recovery has been fine and I hope you are feeling good. 
yes doctor yes nurse i am feeling very good but i am concerned about physical activity okay so now i would like to explain you about the thing that i want to reassure you that there is nothing to worry in 4 to 6 week you will have full return of energy levels so that means it's just patience of one month or one and a half month that you will be feeling absolutely fine and also i would like to remind you about the heart attack recoveries that it would be gradual and also it will demand lifestyle changes and there are various medications that will help you to recover so mr john should i explain you anything again well no nurse no doctor i understood the last time so i am following all the things i am making lifestyle changes i am also taking the medication well that's good to know mr john that you are following everything but i would like to emphasize the importance of exercise as well that exercise is very important for the heart health and also it will strengthen your heart muscles overall health it is very important as exercise will also improve your overall health as it will lower your cholesterol level so mr john is it all good yes and now i would like to focus one more thing as you have come here your the reason of visit is that you are concerned about the physical activity how much should be the physical activity so i would like to give you advice for those exercises are you ready mr john yes nurse i am ready okay so you have to do moderate physical activity as your recovery has been uncomplicated uncomplicated and it has already been two weeks uh since your hospital admission so now you can do bit of moderate exercises are you getting my point yes doctor yes nurse i am understanding that's very nice mr john so that's great now that after two weeks you can do the moderate exercises as well there is one more advice that you should join a cardiac rehabilitation program because when you are increasing your exercise from mild to moderate that in this case supervision is highly required so joining a cardiac rehabilitation program can be really beneficial is it all good mr john okay nurse i will certainly join this okay further i would like to tell you about your job i would like to know about what type of work you do oh nurse i do just desk job well that's great in that case after 4 to 6 weeks you can join your job because you just have to sit on the desk so you can do that job as well is it all good well that's great okay now i need to explain you that physically and emotionally be ready and uh, you can plan to return to work but please do not rush back and also take the assistant and support from your employer okay mr john yes nurse are there any other concerns or any other concerns regarding your job that you want to ask or regarding anything that i have explained you until now well no doctor no nurse it seems all good okay there is one important point that i would like to mention regarding the prevention of future attacks you should take the proper diet as recommended to you earlier as well we gave you a pamphlet in which everything was written i will give you that pamphlet again that for avoiding the future heart attacks you should eat vegetables and that should be whole grains and also your lifestyle should be physically active as i have already told you that now after 2 weeks you can do the moderate physical activities and also i reassure you that your concerns are normal and are very appropriate that you don't have to worry there are many patients who come out with the same concerns as you have come because after this kind of mild anterior acute myocardial infarction people do feel that whether their heart is healthy or not so there is nothing to worry now you are better your recovery has been uncomplicated and the most important thing is that now you can do moderate physical activity but that should be done under the supervision okay done mr john anything else i can help you with no no okay then take care and if you have any problem then i am giving you this pamphlet again it contains all the information and you can ring on the number any time or you can come to our clinic for anything that bothers you i assure you for the best services all right nurse okay take care mr john take care bye bye so maybe your question in this particular role play was that when we have already attended the patient what to do so in that case you will assume a name you can say good morning mr john this and that and that is how the role play will go this is dr bupesh from dr bkmo it institutes please subscribe our channel if you have not and don't forget to call us if you are looking out for the
best to it coaching thank you